Yes, people, welcome to the Isolation Rat Cave. It's Ratsy here as per usual, and today I'm taking you through the Evermix Box 4. So I'm gonna be going through what you actually get in the box, how to record your sets on the app, and also how to use this box for live streaming. Also, there's a couple of cheeky little hacks in there as well about how to charge your phone from your laptop at the same time, and how to use this Evermix Box 4 with a controller which has only got one master out. Okay, so let's see what you actually get with the Evermix Box 4. Now, this is what they uh, send you. It's in, it comes in a hard case, which is brilliant if you're taking it to gigs, you know, you wanna record your live sets or whatever. Um, and it's very, very portable. And like I said, hard case, so not likely to get damaged. Now inside, uh, this is everything that comes with the Evermix. So here is the box itself. Um, this dinky little thing here. This is where all the magic happens. Um, it's stored very carefully in this bubble wrap. Cheers for that, guys. So that is the Evermix box itself. Now it comes with these two cables. Um, the first one, the RCA cable, which obviously comes out of the back of your um, mixer or your DJ controller, and then into the um, RCA ports here on the Evermix box. Now. This cable isn't the longest cable in the world. I would say it's about a meter long. So if you are kind of putting your phone um, far away from, from the mix or, or whatever, I would recommend possibly getting a longer cable. This is just a simple RCA to RCA cable. Um, and then also this cable here, which is the important one really, um, it's worth saying at this point, I am using, I have got the Evermix iOS version as I'm using it with an iPhone. So this is their cable. It's, it's like an eight pin kind of cable here, which goes into the Evermix box and then is lightning out, which then goes into your iPhone. Now with the Android, that is an eight pin into a USB-C, which is what the Android phones use. So that's literally all that comes in the um, uh, package itself. There is a tiny little quick start guide here, but you don't need that because <laughs> that's what I'm taking you through now. So let's take a look at the box itself. Now, like I said, you've got the RCA inputs here. So red into red, white into white, and then the other side, of this will go into your mixer or, or, or the um, output of your DJ controller. And then this cable here goes into the front. So just got to find the nice little clip there. There we go, that's in there nice and firm. And then this end here will go into your iPhone. So now then, when the Evermix box is plugged in, it will flash red, just to let you know that it is getting a signal, it is turned on. Um, but, so if I plug these RCAs into the back of my Pioneer DJ DDJ400 here, I should be ready to send an audio signal. Once this Evermix box receives an audio signal, this red light will turn blue. Apart from, I should say, actually, if you're um, peaking on your mix, so if it's going a little bit too loud, it does flash red uh, while, you're, while you're mixing, so you know to turn it down. Now, you do need the Evermix app for this whole thing to work. So the Evermix app is a free app that you can get from the App Store. Um, I downloaded it earlier, so I've just got it here. So once you open the Evermix app, I haven't recorded anything on here yet, so it's com completely fresh. So um, I'll just press record next set. I wanna let it access the microphone, yes. And there we go. That is your, basically, your Evermix app right there. So it says no audio at the bottom. If I just run off a tune on the 400, there we go. Um, it's getting a signal through there, and then you can tap the record button to start your recording, and then just tap it again to stop. So the Evermix Box 4 records at 192 AAC, uh, 320 AAC, or in WAV at 48, 16 bits. So high quality recordings within this app. Um, and then also within the editing, um, the, you can edit your mix here. You can do uh, your volume points. Your, you can set fades in, fades out, um, and set start time and end time. So you can actually fully edit your mix within the app itself, which is great. 
Uh, and then from there, you can just press the, once you're ready, uh, happy with your mix, you can press the export button and then you can either save it or you can send it. So you can, uh, you can send it to uh, airdrop it to, to your Mac or whatever, but then also uh, you can send it to Mixcloud and SoundCloud uh, as well as your iCloud. So you can upload directly to those platforms from this app. Now, it is recommended as well um, to put your phone on airplane mode as calls do interrupt the mix. Nobody wants that. So make sure that you remember to put your phone on airplane mode when you are recording your mix. So that is literally how simple it is to record your set within the Evermix app. Now, let's take a look at how you can use this Evermix box for for live streaming. I want to say at this point within the actual app, there isn't any specific links to live streaming like Facebook or YouTube or anything like that. You just have to have the app open. So let's say you wanted to do a Facebook live stream. Um, you would get the Evermix app open, get your audio signal through. There we go. As you can see, it's turned blue there. And then from there, that's when you open up your Facebook app and this box will send high quality audio from your mixer into your phone, which is then used as your Facebook live microphone. Now, what the Evermix app does is bypass your microphone and every audio signal that's being sent into the Facebook app or the YouTube app or whatever is coming through this box. So that does mean as well, if you want any speaking um, on your uh, Facebook live stream, you need to have a microphone plugged in to your mixer. Also on the app itself, there's no actual volume control. So you really need to keep an eye on your levels here. You control the volume on your mixer itself. So if you do go a little bit too loud, then the box will start to start to flash. And like I said, if you really are peaking hard, it will flash red. And that's when you know that you need to turn it down. Also a nifty little hack here uh, on the box itself. It's got a mini USB input here, so uh, you can charge your phone at the same time as using uh, the app or recording your mix or whatever. You obviously don't want to run out of battery halfway through a mix or a live stream. So um, this is a mini USB into here, which you can obviously plug directly into like a, um, a phone charger. Um, but a nice little hack is if you are uh, DJing from a laptop, which I am, you can plug your USB cable directly from the box here into the USB into your um, laptop and then as you can see there that is charging my phone at the same time it's using the power from the laptop to charge my phone. Now some of you that are using this Evermix Box 4 with controllers like the DDJ400 here may come across the problem there is no other output on the box itself. So there's only one master input, which means if you've only got one master output out of the DDJ400, so you won't be able to hear uh, your mix on external speakers because it is the master that normally goes into the speakers. Now, the way around this is just by getting a pair of these simple splitters here, which one goes into one output, I'll show you here. So one in there, one in there. So that in effect doubles up your master output. So now we'll go out of that side into the Evermix box four. And then this, I'll just turn it down. This is my speakers. So get that plugged in. And then, as you can hear, that has uh, split the output so I can hear both the mix in my speakers in my studio, but it's also sending a signal into the box. Now, of course, because this is a splitter, it's sending it out in two monos, it's not in stereo. Now, obviously, if you are using a mixer or a controller which has got more than one master out, it is better to come out of that one rather than using this splitter trick uh, you can come out of master two or even a booth out which uh, but you might need a RCA to quarter inch jack for that. So there you have it then guys that is the Evermix box for and how to use it in both recording and live streaming as well as uh, a cheeky little hack about uh, using your laptop to charge your phone at the same time and how to use it with a DJ controller which has only got one master output. 
I uh, hope this has been helpful. If it has, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more other uh, videos like this where I can give you guys tips and all that kind of stuff. Tag anyone who has been wondering how to do any of this. Hopefully it's been helpful. So yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.